Ketamara, The Orphan's Ballad is a game about the character Deidre and her quest to find herself. Many years ago, she was left at an orphanage for her protection, and she needs to find out why and who she really is. Along the way, she befriends several people who have their own reasons for joining her on this quest of self-discovery. What makes this game stand out for me in a sea of similar titles is that it feels like a first RPG. Not in the sense that this is the dev's first RPG game. It is, but more that it feels like an RPG you give someone who has never played one before. It holds the hand of the player without feeling condescending. The character is written in a mostly believable way, and it's something anyone can feel comfortable handing to their children to start RPGs with, as there is almost no questionable content whatsoever. It really is aimed at being someone's first role-playing game. My only real gripes with the title are how often the fourth wall is broken, especially with the narrator in the early sections, and how simplistic it can feel at times. It definitely follows a very linear path, and it can be a little exposition-heavy in some spots. The game is very easy to pick up and get into the story. It wastes little time setting the stage and putting us right into the meat of it. The tutorial battle was also a highlight for me, played out as a pretend fight with another orphan. It's an excellent way to get us introduced to the game's mechanics. The characters were quite amusing. While some of the jokes were a bit flat, the characters didn't feel to be overly comedic or like they were trying too hard to fill in their tropes, you know what I mean? It's a game that's very well suited for first-timers to RPGs and children. It's something even younger children would enjoy. It's the first chapter in a very well-planned out saga. I had a chance to sit down and do a live stream chat with the developer, and they've got a good series planned out here. Playing the game can lead to discussions about what a worm is and isn't. Just... don't get me started. It tends to break the fourth wall a little too much, and it can be confusing in some parts, especially since there isn't a clear reason why the fourth wall is even being broken, or how. It's a bit simplistic, and veterans of RPGs may find it a bit too simplistic. There's no real challenge here, and even I, infamously bad at games, had little difficulty with it. Some of the jokes are more cringe than chuckle, and rely a little too much on some pop culture references. The game feels more like an early access title than a full release. There were many rookie mistakes, some I've even made myself, but it felt like an unfinished product all around. The game ends somewhat abruptly, even for being the first chapter in a saga. I've honestly never been a fan of any game that ends with, This has been the first chapter, thank you for playing, blah blah blah. Ketamara is a light and fun little RPG that is a great way to introduce anyone new to the genre, especially children. However, it can be a little too simplistic for those of us who have been playing RPGs for years. Still, the charm of this game cannot be denied, and it's great for those of us who don't want to worry about dark powers behind the scenes or want something we feel comfortable handing to our kids. Plus, it's free. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. I'm Hawk Zombie. Thanks for listening.